Welcome back to another episode of uh, Beer Bacon and Bros. As always, I'm Alex. I've got Adam, we've got Chris, got Keith down there. Uh, we've got plenty of things to talk about today. We've got two beer reviews, we've got baseball, we've got uh, old college football, put your brain to the test kind of category that Chris is going to bring out for us. Um, oh, yeah. Anything else that you guys want to know? Obviously, college pick was really new. We're talking about fair food. Fair food. Fair food. Fair food. So, fair food. Fair uh, we, yeah, put yeah. Little, we put a little poll question out there on Instagram. We got some good, uh, some good feedback. So we're gonna talk about some beer food. But um, first beer, yeah, let's do it. You got it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. D nine, D nine Brewing Company Tropical IPA. It's the Acuna Matata, six point six alcohol percent volume. It's an Indian pale ale. India pale ale. Sorry. Uh, you were test your taste. Yes. Is it Charlotte? Is it Charlotte? Okay. okay. I've been so they do a, they some, do a sweet brown too. It's really sweet. So really somewhat, somewhat local beer. So, uh, home team barbecue has trivia on Monday nights. Yeah. And la- one of the categories last night was Carolina breweries. How did you do? Um, not as good as I would like those doing. Yeah. Um, but I did get. I think of the four rounds. At least two out of the four were correct. Okay. So. Do you remember what two you got? What two you um, I got one of them. It named beers from this local brewery, and it was Columbia Craft with like the. Uh, it said like an alien, something a watermelon sour and the. Something the blue, which is their blue marshmallow sour. The Carolina what? Blonde. But yeah, either way, it made like three different beers, and it, you know, it was this capital, you know, this capital city brewery, and so got that one. We got Noda Brewery out of Charlotte. No da, is that what you get all? Noda, no da. Somebody, yeah, yeah, some, somebody across one of our videos made sure that we knew it was no da. But then they they brought up one of like this used to be Darius Rucker's favorite brewery because of their like rose something. And of those. Huh? It no, it's like, off of Main Street, but it's closed now. Alright, what is it? It's Cotton Town Blue Lab. Oh. Mm. Because of something, I was like, I have no. I okay. said it, but it didn't, <laughs> even know it was, <laughs> didn't even know it was a, uh, a buey that was on Main Street. Maybe it's on the Sumter, actually. But anyway. Alright, um, it's, it's definitely tropical. tropical. It's yeah. definitely got that. It has like a floral smell to it. Like, it smells like literally just like flowers. That's what I am getting herbal tropical, not like fruit tropical. I love how he just stuck his nose, just kind of made fun of that, and then Adam's like, yeah, you know what, I agree with that too. <laughs> I mean, it's also off of Franklin, actually. This is where Franklin Cotton Town used to be. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. All right. Sit for me. Alex, you good over there? Good. D9. Hukuna Matata. IPA. Yeah, I'm good. I think I got my score. I do kind of get the four of the three. Y'all go ahead and go if y'all, uh, if y'all know what you want. You said it was a what? Six? What? Six, six. Six, six, point, six point six. Yeah. Five, six for me. Okay. Not, I'm not a fan of this. I'm going to go six point five. Okay. Six. It's good. It's drinkable. It's easy. It's light. It's just it. It has a weird aftertaste. It. Just doesn't fit my flavor profile. Ooh. You okay? Does not burp well. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what happened? No. What happened? <laughs> you gonna give it a try now that I said that? You wanna try to make yourself burp? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I mean, it's, it's smooth, it's easy, it's drinkable. But like Adam said, I'm just. Something in the taste is hitting weird for me. It does hit a little weird. No. I'm gonna go 6 3. Okay. I uh, I think I'm gonna go six one. I'm not blown away by it. I mean, is it drinkable? Yeah. I I have liked some tropical IPAs, but I feel like you gotta have a really good tropical IPA for me to like it. So it's just not a definitely. But it feels a, kind of you know artificial. What that? Yeah. It does feel a little like it's got the the heaviness, not like super heavy, but like it's got that just heavy enough for like an IPA. Yeah. You know, um, you can get a little bit of the bitterness. Yeah. But the weird fruit taste definitely overpowers it. But That's the thing is, not, I don't even know what fruit I'm tasting. I don't either. Yeah, I, don't I, know, can't, I can't. I can't eat on anything. That's what I'm saying. Like, I can't like, point like uh, or flowery or. Yeah. Uh, or it's, oh, that's oh, probably oh. one of those things where, like, if somebody were to, like buy something that just said artificial fruit flavoring, 
Yeah. Like, would that be what we're tasting right now? Yeah. Probably. Like a mixture of things. Yeah. Like a yeah. mango, pineapple, orange. Yeah, I want to know like, if they brewed it. this, did they actually use any type like of actual, actual fruit true fruit in the, you know, the brewing yeah. and the fermentation process? Or like, do they do like what, like what Doug says sometimes when you have to like, when you have to do a weird flavor, you put the, the you put the, the extract like, into the keg and then you pump the beer in and it mixes that way. Right, yeah. Like, I wonder if they just put like a fruit extract into the kegs and just pump it. An IPA, but I'm with you. I mean, I can't even tell like what fruit is going on here. Yeah, I mean, like I with them just them just saying tropical, right, maybe maybe, a, maybe, maybe, maybe maybe like a bunch of different ones. Yeah, I mean, there's like but, there's literal no description on the can of what you should be tasting or what this is supposed to be. So it but does smell a little floral, like or, or, or herbal. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, that's what I was getting. Something plant. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, this right. looks like something you would see, I guess, uh, what Pacific Island did with the tiki head and everything. Yeah, but it's a cool can design, don't get me wrong. Like, you know, top 20 can designs we've probably seen. But, I mean, if you don't put any good beer inside the can, it don't matter. It don't, it don't matter. matter. So, uh, all right, so back down the line, you got five, six, uh, six, five, six, one, six, three. That was the uh, tropical IPA from D9 Brewing Company in. Um, yeah, the Hakuna Matata Tropical IPA from D9 Brewing Company in Charlotte, North Carolina.